Hey, welcome to Airman Vision. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the rank structure in the Air Force. Now, before I get into the video, I do need to state that any thoughts and opinions I mention are my own and not that of the Air Force. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So we recreated the BMT memory worksheet that you get at basic training, and it is available for download on airmanvision.com. And it includes things like rank structure, core values, airman's song, airman's creed, and other things that you're going to be expected to memorize while you're at basic training. So in this video, I'm not going to explain everything about rank structure because then you would just have to watch the video and write down everything I say. And we actually did all of that for you so you can download the memory worksheet and you have everything right there in front of you. But I will share some tips and tricks that way you can pair the things I tell you with the memory worksheet when you have it right in front of you and it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier to memorize. So rank structure has two parts. There is rank and there is pay grade. Rank is going to be the name and pay grade is going to be E1 through E9 or O1 through O10. A lot of times people use these interchangeably so you can use either one of those. So on top of knowing the rank and the pay grade, you're also going to have to know the insignia, which is the emblem, the shape of whatever that pay grade is. So some tips for the enlisted rank structure is the pay grade is one more than the amount of stripes that the chevron has in the insignia. So for example, an E3 is a chevron of two stripes and E9 is a chevron of eight stripes. And that is an easy way that you can remember those. Some tips for learning officer ranks. First, I'm gonna to talk to you about the lieutenants. So the first rank in the officer rank structure is a second lieutenant. And then the next one is a first lieutenant. That may seem a little confusing because second comes before first, but just think of it this way. Second lieutenant gets promoted to first lieutenant. And that was an easy way to remember that. The next one is going to be learning the insignia for Colonel, which is a silver spread eagle. And I actually got this information from Jonna Logic. She's a super sweet YouTuber. And whenever she said this, like it just clicked for me. There are different things that work for different people. And I'm kind of weird about the way that I learn and memorize things, but I absolutely love the way she explained this. So the rank is a Colonel and the insignia is a silver spread eagle. And she said the eagle looks like a chicken and Colonel Sanders makes chicken. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. So anytime I heard Colonel, I automatically went to chicken. And then I was like, well, that's the silver spread eagle. Easy. So the next tip is going to be for the generals, which is going to be an 07 through 010. The insignias being one star, two star, three star, four star. But if they're all generals, how do you remember the names and which order they go in? It's Brigadier General, Major General, Lieutenant General, and General. So an easy way to memorize this is to learn the phrase, be my little general. B is Brigadier, my is Major, little is Lieutenant, and General is General. So if you learn that phrase, it will help you learn the order that the generals go in. We also have workout programs to help you prepare for PT before getting to BMT. Tons of information about BMT, tech school, ASVAB requirements, job information, and all sorts of things like that. Hopefully this video helped you. Be sure to subscribe for more Air Force information and I will see you guys in another video.